Hello, man, with the Grim Report. Yeah, pretty cool. City building, right? <laughs> um, today's Grim Report is, well, first off, I do the good and the bad. You always know that. Good. Force Awakening. Speeds past record, a record 50 million Thursday night. Opening night, guys. Opening night. 50 million. Star Wars was a, the Force Awakens pulled Awakens pulls the estimate of 50 million to 55 million in Thursday night preview across North America, breaking the 43.5 million record set by set in 2011 by Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part Two. That figure could rise as high as six, 60 million. Wow. By the time of an official tally released this morning, according <clears throat> to the Hollywood Reporter pre-release, pre track places that J.J. Abrams film on Jack to gross eight one hundred eighty million point and two twenty two million as opening weekend. The range of makes the Force Awakening a safe bet. Surprise, Jurassic World's. Of course, it's going to be bad, 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 beat it. Disney has tried to manage box office ex exceptions with the studio chairman, Alan Horn, cautioning that last month that a big debut, our rare December, indeed, 2012, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, is currently recorded 100, ooh, record holder with 84.6 million. However, THR notes that Avatar and Titanic, the cop grossing movies of all time, were holiday relief. They were also holidays, Gary. So. <clears throat> Force Awakening, which ranked 14.1 million Wednesday, is a dozen overseas territories, reported in another 14.3 million Thursday from the United Kingdom. Alone, the film's opening wide, wide today for. Woo wee! That's a lot. <clears throat> Now, guys, if you haven't seen this, I suggest you try to stomach it. It starts out pretty slow. A little bit of action up front, but, you know. I won't spoil anything, but it's kind of... It will piss you off at the very beginning if you are a Han Solo fan. And near the end if you're a Han Solo fan. Let's, um, moving on. The bad. Bennis and Mel V send International Iron Man on a quest for his true parentage. I told you guys it was bad. As Universe premieres engineer that Tony Stark encounters a problem, he builds something to help him solve. Unfortunately, a founding Avenger is currently facing a dilemma that can't overcome by his genuine engineering. Genius engineer scares a quest where he came from having recently discovered that he was adopted. The man who is Iron Man has been hunt, haunted by the quest for his birth parents' identity. I told you Bennis was going to ruin some stuff. And an international Iron Man, the writer Brian Michael Bennis and the artist Alexander Meev start gets it out discover the truth that his origins of that he means they find himself embroiled in an international intrigue and facing horde of new villains. All, then also CBR News spoke with I don't care about what Brian Michael Bennis says. Guys, if you're an Iron Man fan... All that stuff at the very beginning about him wanting to please his father, be better than his father. Turns out his father ain't his father. So Tony Stark really doesn't own, his own Stark Industries, does he? His father was a genius, but how is he a genius? If it ain't his real dad. That just goes on and on. You see, guys, this is where Brian Michael Bennis screws up. Right now. Great controversy, he thugs something up. 
So I told you this is the grim news now. You guys aren't so happy, are you? To hear that Iron Man ain't Stark. Ain't a Stark. He's something else. So yeah, like I said, Marvel takes everything you like, everything you like, and throws it away and say, oh, here's something new. We think you're going to like this better. We don't care about the 30, 40 year history. Bam, we fuck it up. Because Brian Michael Bennis sucks. I told you he sucks as a writer. And everything else he sucks at. And yet you guys don't listen to me. I digress. You know, I bring you this news. Not out of spite of Marvel's new different new bull crap. I get little dislikes because people like this character or that character when the character doesn't even bring about any change in the universe he's just there. And the international Spider-Man Amazing Spider-Man is already starting to suck. I've seen bad reviews. And yet you guys don't listen to me and yet you buy the comic book still. Marvel's not going to change unless we stop buying it. But, I mean, we shouldn't be afraid of change. I mean, they can screw things up even more. They could kill Iron Man off. Would that make a difference? Not really. They could kill Captain America off again. Would that make a difference? Oh, the if it's the new Captain America, oh, it's a hate crime. He's a black man. You can't kill a black man off. So yeah, they're doing this. You guys are going to buy it. Because they're doing this. So continue to buy. Continue to support their bullshit. While all the history gets stuck. Because Brian Michael Bennis wants you to rethink everything. And Allison, Allison Axon or whatever his name is. Screws things up even more. Continue to support their bullshit and nothing else. Go ahead. But when all said and done, pretty soon Iron Man is gonna be an X Man. Uh, Wolverine is gonna be another. Is gonna be Tony. Is gonna be Stark's dad. You know they could do that. And Iron Wolverine's dead. And then Professor Xavier is going to be Scott's grandma. They could do that too. So, guys, with that said, I rambled enough trying to tell you people out there that Marvel's fucking things up, but they're all new, different bull crap, and you don't want to listen that they're messing up. So, good luck. Good night. God bless, but I'll keep bringing you the news, because it's always a grim day when Marvel's around. <laughs>